So here's kind of a brief review of the um, 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 10 volt uh, DMX board that Dave sells. Um, I've got it hooked up to uh, one of my uh, uh, Lumia RGB units. And um, what I've done is I've got it set to uh, 0 to 5 volts and then that's feeding a uh, uh, one of the dual channel uh, bad pip drivers. So the cool thing is um, uh, Right now I've got it hooked up to uh, just a basic DMX board. It's actually a pretty cheap one, so it's kind of jumpy. But I mean, um, I'm going to be driving these cues off of uh, off of uh, Beyond. So um, so pretty much I'm going to queue up all of my Lumia effects uh, through uh, through Beyond. So yeah, you basically have just uh, gentle control. Just by, you know, just using the sliders either here or in beyond, uh, and just changing the values, and it works, actually works pretty well. So the green is a cheap Chinese green, so it's kind of, kind of buggy, and it does this weird flicker thing. I don't know what to do about that, but you know what, it's a Lumia, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But, um, yeah, it's actually a pretty neat little board, uh, um... Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So it seems to work out pretty well. I need to adjust that blue, the bi zero bias on it. But um, yeah, it's a pretty neat little board. Um, don't know if anybody else has thought about using something like this to vary the brightness uh, of your Lumia effects. Um, I like the idea of being able to fade in and out my Lumias rather than just have them full on or full off. Um, plus, you can pretty much mix the colors however you want. Uh, I mean, you've got what DMX two hundred and fifty six. Uh, channel so you've got a pretty wide array of colors there so anyway um yeah pretty quick review on this board it's it's pretty awesome i love it